think we are at a, at a sort of tipping point that people now get the climate crisis. They get there's a nature emergency, but we're at the, okay, now what do we do? And I see Nature Scott as having the leadership role in that nature emergency in Scotland, because Nature Scott is the only organization with the mission to protect and conserve and restore nature for the whole country, and who can play that facilitation role to bring together land managers, other organizations, ENGOs, and your own expertise to make that happen. So it's exciting to me that Nature Scott is in this position, that you have a leadership role, that you have that sort of vision. And I guess we are all together now most concerned about delivery. How do, where, where are our priorities? And I think the corporate plan is good. I'm excited about it because it focuses on the key issues. And you know, as you say, it can feel overwhelming, um, the climate crisis, the nature emergency, but we do know what the, what the most important things are. You know, land use change. The, that's, the, that's the peatland stuff, you know, tackling the biodiversity crisis, that's herbivore pressure, we know that's deer management, so they are right away, I'm not saying those things are easy to do, but Nature Scott has the expertise to do things and we're doing what we can to make sure that Nature Scott has the resources to do these things and to coordinate them. Now, of course, it won't be Nature Scott alone, but I think that you have a leadership and facilitation role to, to look at that bigger picture that nobody else has. Um, and without the sort of balance of commercial interests in the same way that other, um, you know, obviously we, ha we need to have a thri thriving economy in Scotland. I'm not saying that's not the case, but Nature Scott doesn't have those internal commercial pressures that say, for example, forestry do or agriculture do so that you're able to take a much more uh, step back picture um, and focus on the, on the end game. So I was very excited that the corporate plan lines up with um, the direction of travel that I want to see on our biodiversity strategy, and that is evidence-based, science-based, what do, you know, where do we need to get to? How do we meet our goal of stopping biodiversity decline by 2030 and turning it around um, so that we are restoring nature, helping mother nature to heal by 2045? And I absolutely think that Nature Scott's not only in the lead on that in terms of its vision, but in, on the ground in terms of delivery, in terms of hectares of peatland restored and, and you know, hectares, of, hectares of trees planted. You're the only organization that has those links to all of those bodies and the ENGOs that, that can do that work, can do that kind of oversight, um, that leadership, that nurturing and mentoring to, to help keep everybody on track. People aren't necessarily looking at Scotland's landscapes and going, this is damaged, it needs restoration. But when we have done a restoration project and are able to say, this is what healthy riparian planting looked like, this is what agroforestry looks like, then we can inspire people. So I think that is just the start. And my hope is very much that with Nature, Nature Scott in the leadership role, that we can find you know, the resources across the country in terms of private investment, in terms of you know, land managers, doing their bit on their bit of land. And of course, our national parks have a leadership role to play as well so that we can, I guess, be a beacon for the country and show and show the way and show that we can have thriving agriculture industry, thriving forestry, and at the same time tackle the nature emergency, that these are not either or, that it's an and. And if Nature Scott can help us show that, then I think that there is absolutely hope for the whole country.